Hey guys, what's going on? My name is TDB Tanson. Welcome back to my Minecraft Xbox One, PS4, and everything else update video. Today I'm going to be talking about the newest update for Minecraft uh, Console Edition. So if you see here, we're on the main menu, um, and then you click play game, and it's completely changed. Here in the uh, 1.17 patch for all the Sony platforms, the TU25 for Xbox 360, and the CU14 for Xbox One. We're going to be uh, looking at all those updates. It's all the same update, but that's, they all just have different names. So, here we go. So, immediately off to the start, that was a weird voice crack thing there. You see that the main menu has changed quite a bit. So, you have the load, you have create, and you have join. So, over here, you can create new worlds. This is where you create new worlds. Over here is where you join worlds if you have friends. And over here is where you just load up your current worlds. I, I'm not sure how I feel about this, but, I mean, it's kind of cool. It brings a little bit different. So we're going to go ahead and create a new world. We'll make it on creative. That's a weird. They have like switches now. Whoa. Okay. And we'll go, uh, well, we just can use, we'll use easy just in case. I don't remember everything that's in it. But, uh, in the more options, we can enter a seed. We're going to go with whatever. Um, let's create a super flat world because why not? Let's see here. Create super flat. Let's go with biomes. We can do, uh, there's a lot of different biomes, apparently. Um, we can do end. Is end a biome? Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. I'm down to try that. And nether. Uh, let's try on the nether. Let's put on the forest. The plains. Oh, I can only choose one of those. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. We'll go ahead and we'll choose um, plains, then. Because why not? Properties, we'll do large, okay, that's for, uh, oh, those are for villages, okay, abandoned mineshaft, we'll give, uh, 10% chance of abandoned mineshaft strongholds, we'll do, uh, three, blah, 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 you see, you could, you could just have all these different features, so many different, um, features that you can choose from here, and it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, so, um, we can add layers, where we can put blocks of just diamonds if we wanted we can layer that up it's 10 blocks 15 blocks and that's a new layer it, you just have complete control over what world you want i think that was really cool so let's go ahead and let's hop into our world now let's go back and i'm going to go ahead and get things set up but i'll see you guys in the world to show you all the other new features that are in the game Alright guys, so this is the world we spawned in here on the Minecraft Xbox One. As you can see, uh, I went ahead and I had lakes and stuff enabled, so those are here. There's lava pits over here. You know, there's a whole lot of different things. We have structures on, so mine shafts spawned up in the air, and villages spawn on the ground like normal. But because this is a super flat world, these things spawned, you know, um, in the air, where they would normally spawn in the ground on, uh, on you know, a, a normal world, so, but you can see it's kind of cool that there's, uh, mine shafts in the air and stuff, so I thought that was kind of cool, kind of neat, and I believe there's a stronghold over in this direction where we just were at, so I went ahead and I set up everything that we need, um, or that is new in this update, there's not a whole lot, but I thought it was kind of cool, the things that they implemented, I think the features are a lot more cool, like this, uh, special flat world thing, I thought that was really cool, and over here you can see, obviously, there's a stronghold and stuff like that, it's kind of cool, it's kind of cool, so, yeah, it'll definitely be very interesting to try to play around with this and see like, what type of worlds and stuff we can create. But first up, um, from Minecraft 1.8 on PC, they went ahead and they brought over the fences and stuff from the other types of wood. So normally we had like a fence gate and fence. We had, you know, oak wood and oak wood planks and door. Well, now we only prior to this update had spruce wood and, um, or not spruce wood. This is, this is spruce. This is birch wood. That's what it is. Birchwood and birchwood planks, but now not only that we have birchwood fence gates fences in the door back there As well as the spruce and same for the jungle. So obviously they all t have the same function. They don't do anything different They all just look a little bit different. Obviously uh, It corresponds with the type of wood that you're using. So this is the jungle door. It looks kind of cool This is a spruce door or yeah spruce door. Okay, and then this is the birch door and then they may have updated the um normal door but i can't remember as well as they may have updated the iron door because i know they did do those in pc i'm not sure if they brought those over or not so next up we have the uh inverted daylight sensor so i didn't actually know this was a thing until yesterday apparently if you click a daylight sensor it turns it into an inverted daylight sensor 
so it lights up um, at night rather than during the day. So I thought that was kind of cool to be able to see that implemented. We have iron trap doors with, that were implemented into the game. So these are like normal trap doors, except for you have to have redstone to power them. As you can see, if I place it on a redstone torch, it closes. And if I get rid of it, it opens. So uh, yeah. Next up after that, we have all the different types of glass. This is the stained glass. So you have the obviously red, orange, uh, green, or not green, that's yellow. Duh. This is like a lime green. This is a blue, or like a light blue, a cyan, uh, dark blue, purple, magenta, pink, white, gray, or light gray, dark gray, black. Um, I'm assuming this is like green, and I think this is brown. So those are all the new blocks in the game right there. And then obviously we also have the book and quill that we're able to use. So you can open it up, and you can write in it, and you can say hi. And it shows up in the book. See? There you go. And then you can sign it. And you can make the title uh, sign and close. We'll just call it. Let's see if it lets us choose the title. Okay. Here we go. Uh, TU25. Even though I'm playing on Xbox One, I think this is TU25. I can't remember, to be entirely honest with you. Sign and close. And then boom. As you also can tell, it's turning nighttime. So now, in the game, there are a lot more features. So if you hit the, obviously, the back button or whatever, phone ringing, hold up. As I was saying before, I really got interrupted by a phone. This is the uh, the new system for settings and stuff. So you can go here and you can go into host options if you have host options turned on. As you can see, if I want it to be day, no problem. I can click set day and it sets it to day. If I want it to be nighttime, well, you know what, I'll just hit set night and it'll turn it to nighttime. As you can see here, I can change the, the difficulty to hard. And if I go and look, I'm sure that I'm, I can find some mobs out here somewhere. Possibly, yep. See, now they're starting to spawn out here. You got all the different endermen, creepers, stuff like that. So we can go ahead and leave those there. Um, we have game mode, so if we wanted to go into uh, survival, we can. Or adventure mode. Um, and then also there is a world spawn point of weather. We can choose clear. We can, I'm assuming we can make it rain or thunder. Yep, okay. And that's, I think that's all for the new um, settings. But I think there's a lot of them that are definitely uh, really, really good. All of these are going to be super helpful, especially the spawn point one. So let's say maybe I wanted to set the spawn point over here at the stronghold. I could do so. So earlier I spawned over there where I, where I was at. So if I uh, go ahead and I'll demonstrate this real quick. Let's go find some lava. There's some right here. If I go ahead and hop into game mode survival, uh, boom, obviously I fall. I'll die in the lava and then we'll respawn and we respawn over here. Now, if I go into the host options and I set it to be creative and then I go and uh, set a new spawn point over here in this general area i will now spawn over here when i die so let's set it to spawn us uh in this library so to say i i don't know if it'll spawn us exactly right here but it should spawn us nearby when we click set spawn point so we can set it here boom that sets the spawn point for us and now if we're going to go and kill ourselves, let's go do that real quick as you can see in the chat it did say set spawn point to the and then the coordinates of where we were so if I am to do this, we will now burn and we will spawn right here where we set the spawn point to be right up there. So, yep, uh, this is uh, how it works. And so now if you maybe are building a map and you want to build a spawn, we, at the world um, where you're building it, the spawn point currently isn't very good. And say so you want to move it, now you have an easy way of doing it. So, yep, pretty cool stuff. But that in... Uh, that's about it for the TU25 CU15 1.17 update. I think they said the little was right. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. A lot of cool different features. Some of the blocks are kind of cool. I can't wait to play around with these, uh, stained glass blocks. The inverted daylight sensors will be fun. I'll have a video coming out with that soon as well. And just being able to use all these different types of woods will finally make things much, much more design worthy and stuff like that. So, Yep, these features are going to be really cool. I can't wait to be able to, you know, set day, set night, uh, be able to move spawn points. This might actually get me back into the game. As there might be very little in this update, but I think it's enough for now. And it's definitely going to have me playing the game for quite a bit. So, that's about it.
Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. Tell me what you think about the changes in the description. Not in the description. In the comments down below. We'll see you next time. Have a fantastic day. Peace out.